Volunteer firefighters in Lackawanna County say someone vandalized their property. Earlier this week, they discovered damage to one of their signs that they believe was done on purpose. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Choate is here now to explain. Kelly? Good evening, Candace. The sign we're talking about was located off of Interstate 84 near Hamlin in Wayne County. When the firefighters went to collect it after their fundraiser, they realized a large chunk of the sign was gone. And you could actually see um, down into the wood where a utility knife or some type of knife was used to cut the sign, and then it was ripped out from behind the bolts. Assistant Chief Jason Crambo is showing me what happened to this sign that belongs to the Jefferson Township Volunteer Fire Company. He says someone cut a gaping hole in the poster board that was used to promote a hot wing and pizza sale on Super Bowl Sunday. Disappointing and discouraging to see that somebody from the public would have the time to actually stop alongside the roadway and physically take a knife and cut the sign. Jason told me fundraisers cover about 60% of the fire department's budget and paid for this exhaust system, turnout gear, even a washing machine. So it's important to wash your gear. Jason says this act of vandalism hurts the Jefferson Township volunteers, who donated 5,000 hours of their time last year. One of these signs costs between $60 and $70. But that could be a pair of gloves that we have to buy for a firefighter, or maybe we need to refill our oxygen tank to use in a medical emergency or something like that. You know, that's all stuff that we could be using this money elsewhere, but we have to replace a sign that we already bought once. Fortunately, an anonymous donor offered to buy a replacement, and Jason told me he's not surprised that someone stepped up to the plate. The community support that we have at all of our fundraisers is outstanding. Um, our breakfast does almost 200 people a month. Um, our carnival every year keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But he has a message for the person responsible. We don't get paid to do this. We wake up all hours of the night to come out and help people when they need help. You know, we do it because we care about the community, we care about everybody. Anyone with information about the vandalism is asked to contact the fire company. And if you would like to support the Jefferson Township volunteers, we'll post a list of their upcoming events on our website, pahomepage.com. Live in the studio tonight, Kelly Choate, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Kelly. And the fire department is also looking for more volunteers and social members to help out at fundraisers.